Vice President Cheney saw an opportunity for what Bush called the trifecta, and he gave it to him by giving the go-ahead to ISI and Al-Qaeda and ordered up a terrorism uh, exercise that allowed him to send all relevant close-in-air defense strip alert craft away from the targeted areas and to disable NORTHCOM normal response to flight path diversion. Now, if you don't understand what I just said, is actually diverting everything away from what was to secure us so that things can happen okay this is fact you can look it up research for yourself while the details might be open to debate by anyone many uh, other very high level intelligence officers have said the same official explanation over and over and said the 911 did not make sense so everything that's going on now has relevance to our past Understand our past, you'll understand our present and ultimately our future. Now we missed some other information since our last show, RFID and skimming. The RFID chip is in a credit card and it emits an account number, expiration data and other information. About 100 million plus credit cards now have the contactless technology embedded in them. However, over the next two to three years, it is, it is, it's expected that credit card issuers will replace every single magnetic strip card and debit card with a new contactless smart card. Why shouldn't they? That's what most people say. These cards seem a lot easier. Easier on who? So much easier that some folks are reading your credit cards even before you take them out, the wall, out your wallet. So that means they're reading your information, know how much money you got in the bank, and subsequently can take everything you have to do what? Put you into enslavement? Oh, you can't say it can happen? <laughs> Health care! Yay! I'm the first to tell you that I support any program that gives free universal health care to every United States citizen. So let's get that straight and out the box right now. Alright? But I also admit that some benefits will take effect immediately while others will not take effect to 2014. Now we already understand that if you read the news, newspaper, internet, whatever. Okay? But what is funny is that many people don't even know how much or what's in the information that's not only in the bill of what's said, but the things that are not said. Okay? However, that's unimportant for in the end, the executive branch and its bureaucracies, not Congress, will interpret what the bill contains. Not you, or I. The only suitable major reform Congress should take is deconstructing the mess they've created. Okay? Because if they wanted health care for everybody, we wouldn't have to wait for 2014. We wouldn't have to have all these different loopholes. We wouldn't have to have all these mazes. All I'm saying, get your shit together. Stop spending money. Audit the Federal Reserve and take steps to eliminate the central bank. Withdraw U.S. troops immediately from all parts of the globe. The money saved could pay for all sorts of much needed infrastructure and services. Know this. Things have gotten so out of whack, um, not only since our last show, but actually this has been really one year. And no, I'm not blaming President Obama. President Obama is the President of the United States. He's not the tell-all. He's not the final decision holder. There's people that's over President Obama, in case you didn't know. Things have gotten so out of whack that we're getting deeper and deeper in debt while we're still bankrupt. Our country has always been bankrupt as long as I've been alive. Yes, you heard me. We are still bankrupt and no President Clinton did not save America and sorry to say President Obama would not either, even though he is playing his position and the game very well. Now people, we can change it all. We can agree to disagree, but the bottom line is that we're being screwed and the masses are blind even with so much information out here. There are many who still doubt the New World Order and, and some don't even care. Sit back while I break down historical fact that's about your money, about our country. The subject, bankruptcy of America. Bankruptcy of the United States of America. United States Congressional Record, March 17, 1993, Volume 33, page H1303. This is important, people. Speaker Representative James Traficant Jr. of Ohio, he addressed the House. Mr. Speaker, we are here now in Chapter 11. Members of Congress are official trustees presiding over the greatest reorganization of bankrupt entity in the world history of the United States, the U.S. government. We are setting forth, hopefully, a blueprint for our future. There are some who say it is a coroner's report that will lead to our demise. 
Now, it is an established fact that the United States federal government has been dissolved by the Emergency Banking Act, March 9, 1933, 48 Stat 1, Public Law, 89-719. It was declared by President Roosevelt being bankrupt and insolvent. H.J.R. 192, 73rd Congress, M. Session, June 5, 1933. The joint resolution to suspend the gold standard and abrogate the gold clause dissolved the sovereignty authority of the United States and the official capacities of all United States governmental offices, officers, and departments, and is further evidence that the United States federal government exists today in name only. If during this series you don't learn anything of what I'm saying about the New World Order, listen to this. The receivers of the United States bankruptcy are the international bankers via the United Nations, the World Bank, and the International Monetary Fund. All United States offices, officials, and departments are now operating within a de facto status in name only under the emergency war powers. With the constitutional Republican form of government now dissolved, the receivers of the bankruptcy have adopted a new form of government for the United States. This new form of government is known as democracy. Democracy that we grew up with, that we understand, that we understood the definition of. Being an established socialist communist order under a new governor of America. Did that make any sense? This act was instituted and established by transferring and or placing the office of the Secretary of Treasury to that of the governor of the International Monetary Fund. Now, if you don't understand that, we don't own ourselves. Public Law 94-564, page 8, Section H.R. 13955 reads in part, The United States Secretary of Treasury receives no compensation for representing the United States. Gold and silver. That was such powerful money during the founding of the United States of America that the founding fathers declared that only gold or silver coins can be money in America. Since gold and silver coinage were heavy and inconvenient for a lot of transactions, they were stored in banks and a claim check was issued as money as a substitute. People traded their coupons as money or currency. Currency is not money, but a money substitute. Think about it. Paper dollar. <laughs> Redeemable currency must promise to pay a dollar equivalent in gold or silver money. Federal Reserve notes as what we call FRNs make no such promises and are not money. The Federal Reserve note is a debt obligation of the Federal United States government and is not money. The Federal United States government and the US Congress were not and have never been authorized by the Constitution for the United States of America to issue currency for any kind or of any kind but only lawful money, gold and silver coins.